Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Got a surprise in the mail today. Uh, this is a piece from the Germania Mint. You may have seen this in Mr. Vegeta's channel. This is the oak leaf, the, uh, a, a new round in the series uh, that they are carrying now. And this is going to be available soon. And it has a leaf there in the acorn. And uh, the acorn I found out from Mr. Vegeta from research he did that uh, acorns aren't actually produced until the tree has been um, around for matured about 20, 25 years. But this is just an amazing uh, piece in line with uh, their other releases. It has this sort of interesting textured background uh, behind uh, with the, the text oak leaf and one ounce four nines fine silver there. It also has the galoche pattern behind the leaf itself, but a lot of intricate detail in the leaf pattern itself. Uh, and the Germanium Mint, I'd say what, does a great job in preserving that detail, considering that these are, are, are very shiny surfaces here, very polished uh, indeed. And uh, then you have sort of this, this the matte finish over the texture background behind the text, and the text itself is very... Uh, you know, shiny there above it. I like that. It's kind of a neat way to present a silver in this form. And then we see here it has the reeded edge. And then as this is a um, coin turn, we will see the the common two-headed bicephalic uh, eagle there holding the lightning rods on either side. 2019, the year of issue, Germania. And again, you have this pattern there. Uh, in the background, and then the eagle itself, the raised surfaces are very shiny. And the denticles on the edge there, but very, very well done. Uh, very fascinating piece indeed. And this is a little different than what we saw on the Germania. The Germania had the, the, uh, the leaves on both sides, but this just shows the eagle spread out there. Germania. Five Mark is a denomination. It's more of a fantasy denomination, as if Germania were still, I guess, around during that period. So it's sort of a fantasy coin in, this, in retrospect, but really it's kind of a, a neat, um, a higher premium bullion. Round indeed, but very nice. The Germania Mint really has uh, done, uh, made a mark on, you know, being just released their pieces this year. And I've been very popular in the community, and this is a quite a piece. Now, uh, for the surprise that came along with this, I've been in contact with them about. Uh, I regretted not buying the five ounce uh, allegories, and uh, you know I had ordered the two ounce and the one ounce, uh, which are still uh, on. You know, have not gotten it from a Monument Metals yet, but uh, he was able to sell me this. Uh, it is the five ounce allegories, and the packaging is just exquisite here. Um, it comes with this outer sleeve, but look at the booklet that comes with it. There's, these are limited to 500. So, this is just an absolutely stunning uh, representation of the allegories, the Britannia and the Germania together. And of course, next will be the Columbia and the Germania, the Columbia meaning Lady, essentially Lady Liberty. Uh, that will come out next, and I want to get all the sizes for that as well. This is 5-ounce fine silver, and you can see here just a very well-done booklet here and to display this thing. Uh, it has the coat of the arms in the back. It's just a neat way to store and display from Germania Mint. And uh, you open it up here, and upon opening it, you can see the Certificate of Authenticity here, and we'll pull that out and review that certificate of authenticity very very nice indeed and the official coins of the germania mint the certificate attests that your the allegories britannian germania is authorized by germania mint and has a limited mintage worldwide although technically it's not a coin it um it is a round because it's not backed by any government per se the allegory is britannia and germania specification is 25 mark the year, year of issue is a uh, 2019 five ounce, and it's a uh, BU, and the release is limited to 500 pieces. There, very nice. And look at that; it even has the uh, sticker on the back of this thing, uh, 
a hologram sticker there, germanium mint. So very cool to see that in there. And here is the piece. Now, upon this inspection of it, it has the same diameter as uh, as this, as the as the as the um, germanium. It's thirty. Let's see if it tells us there. I think it does tell us it is thirty nine. Uh, 38.61 millimeters. Uh, so that's not even 39. It's less than silver round. And uh, it just happens to be ultra, ultra thick. In fact, I will dare say that this is the thickest um, piece of silver that I own now. Boy, this thing is heavy in the hand. You feel it. It really does have some substance to it. And uh, so it's the same design that we saw with the allegories. You saw me review that before, the one ounce. Uh, this is the um, five ounce version, same diameter as the one ounce. Beautiful, same reverse here, very cool. It's got the oak leaves uh, surrounding there, and then the the coat of arms, Germania 2019. The only difference is it says 25 mark at the bottom. Look at that! Look at how thick it is. It's absolutely stunning. This thing is magnificent. Um, and it even, actually, when it came, it was a little bit uh, loose. The lid was a little bit loose. So we're going to see if we can get it out here and take a closer look at it. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. So that thing is massive. Five ounces, Troy, of fine silver. I'll lay it down there. Uh, it is just absolutely amazing. It's more like a cylinder in, in ways. If it, I guess, if it uh, was any larger, it would be a, it would be a uh, you know, any thicker, it'd be a cylinder. Uh, I don't think this actually tells us what the thickness of it is. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't tell you what the thickness is of it, but I may measure it later. But uh, right now, I don't have anything nearby to compare it with with in terms of measurement uh, except for uh, well and even this doesn't have the measurements on it the uh, I did pull this out the uh, the King Tut round and you can see that it is that is 40 millimeter and this is 38.61 and it's, it's even thicker than that and you guys remember how thick that was um, from before, but it is just fascinating to see something so thick. Um, I'm glad they did that. I think that is very cool and unique. And obviously, it takes a lot more, um, I, I believe, skill and work to produce such a piece as this. And that thickness, in comparison to this, uh, it's even more grandiose in that regard. Plus, it's a uh, it's intricately struck. It's a multi-surface. This is definitely by any stretch. It is the most thickest piece that I own. I don't know if there's anything thicker out there um, uh, in such a piece, in such a manner or form. This is 500 mintage. Uh, so this is going to be a very rare piece that may or may not translate to um, secondary market value down the road. But in my view, this is a keeper for me. I'm not selling this thing. And uh, I am a fan. I'm going to definitely get some more um, of the um, of the next series if they do. If, I think they're going to do a 5-ounce in the Columbia and Britannia as well. So very, very cool indeed. It arrived a lot quicker than I thought. Um, and it's pretty amazing to see here. So post your thoughts below about the allegories. Uh, did you order the 2-ounce, the 1-ounce, or and did you get the 5-ounce? Um, I was very fortunate to get it kind of after the fact. A lot of these things sold out very quickly in, uh, in turn. So there you have it. Post your thoughts below. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude, y'all, for watching. And encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.